Donald Trump lays out his plan to win the presidential election come November. He says America is in a moment of crisis, and he can fix it. Trump's lengthy address, 76 minutes long, an hour and 15 minutes. Many call it his most crucial moments yet. Kent Justice is standing by in Cleveland with a look at what the Republicans accomplished and how Democrats are getting ready for their convention next week. And we'll check in with News for Jack's political analyst, Jennifer Carroll. But we begin with CNN's Diane Gallagher in Cleveland. Diane. You know, that thing that all the experts have been saying for about a year was just never going to happen. Well, it happened. Last night, Donald Trump officially became the Republicans' presidential candidate, accepting the nomination in a speech that played heavily into the fears, anger, and insecurity of many Americans, while also giving us a glimpse at how a Trump platform may differ from traditional Republicans. Donald Trump vowed to put America first. He painted a dire picture of a country sliding deeper into poverty, violence, and corruption. The attacks on our police and the terrorism of our cities threaten our very way of life. Trump promised to restore law and order while speaking to people he portrayed as forgotten. These are people who work hard but no longer have a voice. I am your voice. Today, Trump may be protecting his voice. His speech clocked in at an hour and 15 minutes, the longest since 1972. He also became the first Republican nominee to embrace the LGBTQ community at a convention. I will do everything in my power to protect our LGBTQ citizens as a Republican. It is so nice to hear you cheering for what I just said. Now, Trump blasted his Democratic opponent, Hillary Clinton, as he set his sights on the general election come November. This is the legacy of Hillary Clinton. Death, destruction, terrorism, and weakness. Let's defeat her in November. Yeah, but before anybody needs to worry about November, the Democrats have to make it official with Hillary Clinton. That comes next week at the Democratic National Convention in Philadelphia. Many people leaving here in Cleveland and heading there right now. Hillary Clinton, though, likely going to pick her vice presidential candidate. That running mate could come this weekend in Cleveland. I'm Diane Gallagher. Back to you.